what's up guys and welcome back to the channel it is the first week of august and we are here in the high country i have an archery tag that starts this september um me and nicole are here we're gonna do a, a three and a half four day scouting trip we're gonna pack in about five or six miles set up camp and hopefully get to glassing tonight and turn up some big bucks I'm super excited this is my first ever personal high country tag with a bow or high country tag in general so can't wait it's beautiful up here the weather's perfect there's it's just tough to beat so let's see what we can find So well, we are probably about four miles in right now. A few miles in right now. We just okay. got to some really good looking stuff. We're gonna sit down, have a little snack break, and glass all this stuff out in front of us. And then we're gonna keep working and try to get uh, one more ridge over for the night. And sit down and glass the rest of the night, set up camp. And we're gonna see some big bucks. There's a little one and big one might be out of sight. I don't think we'll get another look at him for a while while he's in the timber. So I'm just gonna show you real quick this phone scope. We got some elk in about 800 yards maybe. Um, they just stood up, so I'm just going to show you how fast and easy this is. This adapter is just for this uh, BTX, but you simply just put it on and then go to your phone scope app right here. And I'm recording within a matter of seconds. Use code Skynick to save 10%. Looks like he doesn't have a back fork on the right. That buck just bedded. So we rented a storage unit yesterday, the last minute, because we have so much stuff. We didn't dare leave it on the mountain. The hunt, my hunt, this archery hunt, we actually have to pack in. So we didn't want to leave all of this stuff in the truck on the trailhead. Um, so we got a local storage unit within an hour of where we'll be hunting. Then we'll have peace of mind while we're back in there, not having to worry about people stealing our stuff. First buck of the hunt. We've confirmed there's deer. He's out the trailhead. 4.60 yards off the trailhead. Super unique shape. Whoa, his back forks like line up. Yeah, he's weird. You don't go out like you're supposed to. What else is with him? What's that?
this happened? We just spotted a giant at the trailhead. We've been joking about this the whole drive. He's only 60 yards off the road, so we're gonna make a move on him. He's big, big old giant, typical deep forts. Skylar just barely took off and started stalking that buck. It's actually probably been 10, 15 minutes. I haven't seen him come back. I just freaking drove down the road like a few hundred yards and I'm just sitting here waiting for him. That's freaking crazy. We literally were joking about that on the way in. We're like, we're just gonna get one off the trailhead right on the way in. It's gonna be over before we even get in. So we've been planning for this huge backpack trip. We've got eight days of stuff packed into our packs right now to go pack in six to 10 miles in here and hunt and live out of our backpacks. But I mean, this is insane. Um, that buck, he's got a white velvet point on his front fork and like no brainer shooter heavy old like big typical i think just a straight typical but a freaking stud buck i don't know what's happening right now i'm nervous though i hope that he gets it done it could go either way it's a 50 50 chance right now he the deer was 60 yards off the road he wasn't nervous and it's raining so they're kind of just hunkered down so this could freaking happen so we'll see i'm just watching anxiously to see what happens it's it's been a while, so I'm kind of wondering what's going on. I got like 75 from one of them. But I didn't want to push them too much either. The wind was bad. It's a big buck, isn't it? Did you see him again? I mean, yeah, right when I right at first. And then I like made eye contact with one and they were just like, yeah, I'm sure when they saw you and not a truck, they're like getting the heck out of there. He's got a giant body. Yeah, he's got an old face. Plan worked. Well, we were hoping to see that buck again, and we did. He was like 15 yards off the road, <sighs> and I hesitated again. I don't know. He didn't look as good this time. He didn't look as good. I think we're gonna pack in and find a real big buck. <sighs> I don't know. He's pretty. He's super pretty. But Maybe just a size smaller than we thought. Yeah. We got pretty excited when we saw him yesterday. I don't know. I don't know.
Well, we just made it up to the glassing point, and, we're, um, and we just found a big group of bighorn sheep, and it looks like four rams, and one of them looks really good, so pretty sweet to see. I'm actually going to get the phone scope on them and get some video of them for you guys, because it's not every day you see bighorn sheep, so, and this one looks really good. I'm not a sheep expert or anything, but he looks like a good ram, so he's by far bigger than the others, and looks really solid but pretty cool way to start in the morning up here on top of the world just this place just makes you feel alive just you can see so much and just it's beautiful up here so pretty cool twist that on slider on and just like that we're videoing bighorn sheep Oh. <laughs> do yourself a favor and do us a favor. Um, use our code Skynic, S K Y N I C, and save 10% on your phone scope and help yourself out and help us out. So, we're um, doing this YouTube thing real serious this year. I actually quit my guiding job. Usually, right now, I'm in southern Utah guiding mule deer hunts, but instead, I'm up here hunting for myself with Nicole. So, can't beat it so anything helps and we'll be posting a bunch of affiliate codes with the companies we work with and trust and we won't promote anything that we don't believe in so subscribe and <laughs> like this video these sheep are couple miles away. Yeah. Um, found a parking spot and set up the target. We got the practice tip on. Rage hypodermic practice tip and got the target set up at 60 and we're gonna see making sure we're still shooting good we're shooting good back home but we're about three to four thousand feet higher here five thousand in some spots so just want to make sure we're still shooting good looks like decent shooting not as tight as I'd like to be but we will shoot two more and tighten that up Just making sure my sight tape's on and I'm very happy with this so I think we're ready to go. That was right at 80 so no doubt a dead deer. Starting the pack in so got a long ways to go but we should get there before the evening hunt. We are fully loaded. Got seven days worth of food and all of the stuff we need to hunt and we're good to go so let's do it hopefully on the way out we have to make two trips because we're packing a big old buck well we are loaded down as you can see got seven days worth of food and gear and camp and everything we need to cook and sleep and hunt with so got five or six miles to go depending on which camp we camp in tonight we're gonna get back in here and see what else we can find and hopefully find something a little more next level. So it's the name of the game and we're pumped to be here. So let's do it. We're about three quarters on the way in. 
depending on where we camp. Um, this is the last stream we crossed in a while, so we're gonna stop and fill up. It's been super nice hiking weather, nice cloud cover, nice temperature, it hasn't been hot at all, so it's been pretty smooth sailing so far. So yeah, fill this up and get us some fresh water and carry on. Update. Got a storm rolling in, so got the rain gear on and we're hunkered in. We dropped in a we dropped a little elevation and we're hunk hunkered under some pine trees. <laughs> Can't talk right now, but according to the Garmin forecast, it's supposed to clear in about an hour and be clear the rest of the night. So we'll sit here for a minute and then hopefully it'll start to clear up. Keep going. This rainstorm just broke and it's rewarding our weight with this beautiful rainbow that's right in front of us, like 200 yards. Is that pointed right where that doe went? Pretty epic, yeah. A doe ran just there, so maybe there's a big old buck bedded right there in those trees. We're running a little late. That storm slowed us down, didn't it? Yeah, we got delayed probably an hour at least and didn't make it to our crossing point in time. stuff but that's not gonna happen tonight but that's all right we predetermined our camping spot in the summer so we know exactly where we're going to camp and we're almost there we have probably another half mile and yeah we'll there not far setting up camp and then go to bed but we're freaking tired it's been a long day and hiking. it's cold so we're gonna start moving again see you guys in the tent tent starting to get everything packed up i just unrolled my quilt i've been super excited about this thing if you follow me on instagram you'll see that i've been ranting about this thing i got it custom made um it just barely showed up a couple weeks ago my favorite colors orange and mint so i'm pretty pumped on this thing and on top of that i also have these little booties my feet get super cold at night so these things are already warming my feet up. So I'm in here in the tent, out of the wind, out of the, the wet, and I am going to blow up our sleeping pads and get us all set up for the night. And Skylar's gonna cook dinner, so feels good to finally be at the tent. It's been a brutal day. We've been hiking for probably over six hours now, so glad to be here. This morning's been pretty slow. I've been up here glassing for about an hour and a half now, but seen seven elk and zero deer so far this morning. The elk were probably only out feeding for maybe 20 minutes before they headed to the timber. Pretty slow this morning. Yesterday kicked our butts. We came in here a long ways with a lot of weight on our backs, so got camp set up but I think we're actually going to move camp uh, to a different spot that's a little closer to water uh, a little better vantage point and then tonight we're probably gonna just so we're, we'll dump camp set it up and then we have a pretty good hike ahead of us but we'll do it without a bunch of weight and there's a bunch of other basins uh, we'd like to go look into there's a 
a pretty good point up here where we can see multiple basins from one spot. So that's kind of the plan for now. We got to find bucks to kill bucks. Go from there. So we've got a long time to make it happen. I think we've got six or seven more days. So before Nicole's hunt starts and yeah, going to be a good time. We're definitely going to be working our butts off. So having fun. It's beautiful up here. Well, these are the first bucks we've seen since we've packed into this stuff, since we were up into the high country. It's been really tough, really slow, seen a lot of people and not many deer. Uh, most people have about the same report, so but I'm sure they're up here somewhere. These are some pretty cool bucks, but probably not, not quite what we're wanting to go after, and they're in a really tough spot. They're below some cliffs right now that are basically inaccessible so we're just gonna watch them look for more oh i see him he's kind of cool yeah he's a solid boy would you shoot him on our colorado hunt absolutely <laughs> wouldn't that be awesome <laughs> that's exactly what we're looking for oh that's a good bull he's like Stoked on a bull like that with our tags, getting fired up for the rut. That's fun to see. <laughs> At least we're getting a little action of some sort. <laughs> Cows are having. Well, we found some bucks tonight. Just got back to the tent, cooking up a little dinner. And uh, yeah, freaking delicious. But it's quite a hike up to our glassing point. So we're gonna leave here at about 4.30 in the morning tomorrow to get up there in time. Nicole blast up a group of three to four bucks right at last light a long ways away. So hopefully we can get another look at them. Oh, it's the last light. Headlamp. What do you think so far? I love it. Nice and bright. Super lightweight. Working great so far. It's just rechargeable, so. They have this. Yeah. I'm charging my phone right now. This is their battery pack. It's at 75% and we're able to charge it with this solar panel that's on the front. And then this side's a light, so we use this for a light and to charge our phones up, and it holds itself. We've been able to keep it at between 75 and 100 for the last two days, three days. And you can charge a phone and recharge their headlamps every night. It's been pretty sweet. I charge everything. Yeah, that thing's been awesome. We do have a code for that, too, if you guys want to check that out. I'll link it, show it up on the screen here, but we really like them so far. From what we know, posting a daily vlog of this hunt, so make sure to tune in to the ones before this and the next ones. Hopefully we get some good action. Well, we got the same three bucks this morning so far. This better buck just bedded. Still looking for something quite a bit better though. Got a buck over here that needs 
doesn't have very big forks, but he looks like he's only 30 inches wide, maybe. He's got big eye guards, big fronts, a buck big on the left. They're on a mission to get somewhere. He's the third buck, I think. I thought he was a three point at first with like a huge left beam, but he's definitely a four point. It's pretty decent. Well, we'll get some good footage of him and then we're gonna go look at this other buck. Oh, geez. Three bucks in the first group. There's three bucks in my group over there. That's six, and there's five here. That's. It's good morning. Great morning. Hopefully the sun will hit him soon and we can get video of him. Yeah. Alright, we've got this sweet buck spotted. He's super wide and framey. He's got a big hook cheater. Not the greatest forks, but he's freaking sweet. Whoa, he's cool. You think I should try to kill him? I would 100% He just whipped his head up at something. No, he's looking away. Wind's blowing in our face. You want to try to go for him? Yeah, I think I'd like to try. <laughs> That's a freaking stud. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It all depends, depends on where they go. They might go bed in that freaking crack. And if he does that, you're gonna have to sit in the tent. If he does that, you can go down. Those other bucks spooked and ran like a hundred yards and stopped and fed. They just spooked each other. This thing has a tank of a body. Mm. I bet he's 31 inches wide out to that cheater. Yeah. We need to be patient though and just see what they do and then make like the best plan possible. Yeah. I was hoping he would see when I first saw him, he was in the third strip of jack pines. Yeah. So they've crossed one, two, three and a half washes. So he could bed right under us. This is some unreal footage too. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'd be crazy not to go after him. Dude, he is amazing. No, he's incredible. He's a freaking giant. He is switched on though, at something. We just found a freaking giant. He's a big old, I don't know, 31, 32 inches wide with a three by four frame and a giant hook cheater on his left side big old mature buck and he's just right below us he's like 600 yards below us right now um, we're just gonna be patient we're gonna watch him bet Nicole's gonna stay here and, and keep an eye on him but we're gonna try to make a plan and hopefully if all works out get in nice and close to this buck and get an arrow in him so we've got all day to make it happen and yeah he's freaking awesome so Pumped, I'm shaking. We'll see what happens. There's just no play from above him right now. He's right above it. You can just see his back fork. It's in the lid. I think he might have just bedded. Well, I made it to the bottom. Um, I can talk a little bit louder just because I got this stream next to me, but I'm about 530 yards from the bucks. The problem is they're better in a perfect spot where they can almost see me coming from any direction. I'm finally out of their sight right here and I'm hoping if I stay in this bottom, I'll keep out of their sight. The wind's kind of swirly too, so not sure what to do. Might just hang tight for a minute. See what happens, but let me show you this bottom real quick. So the deer are right 
there. Bedded, there's three bucks. I don't know, we'll see what happens. He's a freaking giant though. And they randomly busted for no reason. That freaking sucks. It's within like 450 yards. Could see them, but I had trees in between me and them. And I was just hanging out here in the shade, actually, waiting for the wind to get better. And I looked back up to check on them again after being here for about 10 minutes. And couldn't see them. And then I looked up further and they had busted out. They were looking down into the bottom. I don't know something else is down there or if maybe they winded me this wind is super swirly but I'm still quite a ways away so really sucks though because that deer is freaking impressive like video doesn't even do him justice like I've <laughs> I've seen a lot of big deer in my life and this is just one of those deer that is big like He's probably not gonna score big, but just got a frame, giant body, big old hook cheater, heavy, just, ugh. oh well. Nicole's up on top. She watched the bucks go up and out, so she's gonna swing along the top of the ridge and then hopefully see where they go, glass them up again, so. Now for the long hike out of this hole. And then maybe if we're lucky, we'll get to do it again. No freaking way. So I, since we saw the bucks last, they cross over a saddle. There were some hikers coming right to them. And Skylar was still like clear off in the bottom. And so I like basically ran a mile so that I could see this huge basin where they went down into to see if I could find them again. And I've been here sitting here glassing for probably two and a half hours. I had almost given up. It's heat wavy. I can hardly see through my scope. And I glassed a few last patches of willows that are at the very end, didn't expect anything. And then boom, freaking all three bucks right there. Not only that, but right when I got the scope on them, the big buck bedded. They are probably in a good spot for a stock. I think we're gonna get a second play on these bucks tonight. We still don't know what happened, why they blew out, but either they caught some wind or they were a little spooked early on, something was in there, but it's a long ways away from where they went. They probably went two miles, but I just got stupid lucky and picked them back up. So maybe game on today. Let's see what we can do. Just about to the top. It's been quite a while. It's freaking climb but I just heard from Nicole and she hasn't found again so Whew. we're gonna push ourselves to the limits today so she says they're in a good spot we're gonna try to go get another stock make this one count screwed up on the last one coming from the bottom the wind was just bad and it just was a bad setup I didn't think it was physically possible to go in from the top though so 
hindsight probably would have went from the top or been patient and let him move. Anyways, looks like we're gonna get another chance to chase him, so let's do it. says I'm about 150, 200 yards above him right now. He's not in a great spot right now, so I might go get set up for like an ambush, hoping he's gonna feed out, but she says she thinks he's gonna get up and feed soon. He's acting restless and the sun's about to hit him, so let's see if we can make this happen. Cheap feet today. Oh, yeah. There are the bucks. You can see the typical bedded in the bottom. And the bigger buck is all lit up above him. But I don't think there's any way to shoot this buck out of his bed right now. So hopefully he feeds out in front of him and Skylar can get set up and ready. But it's going to be 50 50 odds. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Skylar is. There. He took off his boots and got his socks on and he's headed down. So this is a very, very tricky stock. So honestly, I don't think it's very high odds just because of how thick this stuff is. But they're here, they're bedded, and we're gonna try to give ourselves a chance. see what he does. I think he's just switching beds. The sun was on him, so hopefully he beds in a good spot. The other spot he was in was impossible to stock into, so. Well, I was getting down there, going down in my bare feet, my socks. Um, it was getting pretty close, and nothing happened. They just randomly got up and started feeding down hill, and now they're kind of they're closer to the bottom than they are the top and it's kind of a long shot to go in from here so I'm back to my pack I'm gonna put my shoes back on and yeah make a plan hopefully Nicole can turn him up again and we get on him freaking beat though freaking exhausted that's about hunting the high country, so I'll keep getting after it. Woke up and um, I just started glassing and actually found him. So I walked, I went back and got Nicole. She was glassing behind camp. And now we're gonna go make a plan, so stay tuned. All right, we found him. He's right here, bedded not far from camp in a real good spot, but. Oh, I can't eat that. <laughs> yeah, we're 10 feet from our tent right now, so. But the sun's about to just freaking hammer him, so I'm sure he's about to get up and, and move. He's in a great spot. We just need a little luck. Just need the wind. Oh, he's up. I'm afraid if we bump him this time, he's going into the thick. Yeah, if we bump him from above and he goes down into the thick timber, we might never yeah, see him again. Down into this timber. And he'll either stop right here or he'll keep going. Maybe he'll lay back down on this back side of a tree. Is there two deer feeding to him right now? <laughs> Little doe above him. Oh, 
All right, well, he bedded. He's not in the greatest spot for a stock. We're still waiting on the wind to switch as well, too, but where he's in the sun like that, I'm almost guessing he's going to get up and rebed within the next hour or so. So I think we're just going to be patient and watch and see what he does. That buck's still bedded right there, and the wind is switched now, so I'm going to start easing that way, and as long as the wind stays good, hopefully make a move on him, so we'll just... I play it super safe. We don't want to bump him, so here we go. Big boy just stood up for a second to switch beds. He was right in the sun, so he's just re bedded. Looks like the big boy is up. That little two point just fed out. He's going to switch beds. We'll see how he ends up. We're kind of waiting for this. The wind's a little swirly right now. I guess he's going to bed right in the sun. The wind is still being super inconsistent. So I actually stopped about halfway over there. I've been sitting here for maybe an hour and a half, just waiting for the wind to get more consistent for the thermals to switch. The big buck got up and fed around a little bit, then bedded right back down. Hopefully the wind will switch soon. It's about 10.30 in the morning, so it should switch here soon. It's about between 12 and one o'clock and We've been waiting all day for the wind to switch, the thermals to start moving up. It's been pretty inconsistent all morning, so we decided to be patient and wait it out and hope that the wind will steady out so we can have a higher odd stock. But we just saw two hunters cross just above the bucks on the skyline. They're walking around the top of the bowl, so we're pretty nervous and the wind should start to stabilize soon. So Skylar's gonna move in a little bit closer and see if he's able to get above these bucks. Gonna need a little bit of luck here, but here goes. All right, guys, there's the big buck. And I've got Skylar coming in from the top right now. The wind's not amazing, but hopefully it's good enough. I've been in a stare down for like 20 minutes. Skylar's just standing still and this buck's just standing there. They can't see each other, but they're both frozen. Skylar's within 30, 40 yards right now. I can't film him long, I have to get back to the buck. Well, stalked that buck for 10 hours today. The willows he's in are so tall. It made it super tough. Freaking got within 60 yards of him for two hours. Couldn't see him. So decided to try to get closer. Got to what I'm guessing was about 30, 40 yards. Wind swirled and switched. He blew out like a freaking cannonball. Ran down the mountain. So we won't be seeing him again today. Hoping we'll see him tomorrow, but... We'll see. They don't always give you another chance, so see what happens. Freaking sucks, but it's hunting. You know, I just have to take a second to brag real quick about Nicole. I have the most incredible wife in the world. Like this hunt. It's no joke. She's back in here, packed in, glassing for me nonstop. I'm calling it a night, walking back to the tent. I look up, she's still perched up, glassing nonstop. Been glassing nonstop all day and just couldn't do this without her. Wouldn't want to do this without her. Seriously, so fortunate to be able to hunt so much with my wife and best friend. She's staying good at what she does. There can be haters out there. I don't really care. Like, 
she'll outglass and out hunt anybody. She's incredible. Heading back to the tent now. Uh, hopefully this buck will be back in the morning and we'll get another shot. But just amazing being up here in God's country, 12,000, 13,000 feet. It's just, just something else. So pretty fortunate. All right, back from a long day of hunting and cooking up some pea creep fuels. And then we're gonna hit the hay and go to bed and wake up early and class again. So, signing out for the night. It's the following day after getting close to that big buck. And we were, <coughs> we were hoping to find him in this basin again. No sign of him yet. And we're gonna keep looking. We're gonna go glass the back side of this again and see if maybe he crossed over to the other side. But yeah, we're hunting hard. Just had a little lunch, taking a little break, and gonna get back after it in the next hour or so. What you eating? Just a peak. Refuel, homestyle chicken and rice. It's good stuff. All these meals are delicious. We just had one for the first time this trip. Biscuits and gravy for breakfast. Oh, that was it my was best. so good. That this one, one's amazing. this one's good too, but I've had it about a hundred times. It's still amazing, but you guys need to try them. Get the biscuits and gravy. Yeah, get the biscuits and gravy, the beef stroganoff. What's some more of our favorites? Chicken Alfredo. Chicken Alfredo, the beef pasta marinara. And those are probably our top four or five. Yeah. yeah. But anyways, get those. Use our code Skynic15. Save fifteen percent. <laughs> These. What is that? Walking barefoot. These little red bushes look nice and soft, but they have these stupid needle sharp weeds, whatever you'd call it, sticking out of them. They about go through your foot. Hurts. So you don't recommend stepping on those? Don't recommend that. <laughs> Avoid the little red bushes if you're barefoot. Well, it's been two days now since we've seen the hook buck. We've looked in all the surrounding basins. We still have two more to check this morning on our way back to camp, but it's not looking likely. All these other basins we've been checking, we're seeing the exact same bucks. We've got six bucks in this basin. Decent four point, he's like maybe 170 with a cool looking three, point, three by four. Then we've got a basin beyond us here that's got six bucks in it. It's got one nice buck in it that maybe it's 175 to 180, but he is a long ways away. It's virtually impossible to get over there without going back to the truck and moving camp just because the ridge line is so cliffy. I think we're gonna glass our way back to camp and then we're probably, if we don't find the hook buck, we're gonna pack up and we're heading out of here. We're gonna give him a few days off. Nicole's hunt starts in like two and a half days. So we're actually going to focus on some lower country. We saw some bucks down lower in the pines uh, that we might focus on again some more as well. Buck He's looking pretty swirling. good. He's looking good. He's better than anything we've seen up here besides the hook buck. So uh, I still don't regret passing him the second time seeing him just because of our chances at the hook buck. But anyways, that's the update. We're going to work our way back. And if anything happens, you'll see it. If not, we're going to be hitting the trail and getting out of here and regrouping, going back, getting a hot shower. And a hot dog. A hot dog, <laughs> some food from the <laughs> gas station. We've both been craving Maverick hot dogs for some reason. We never eat those, but it sounds so good. Freaking spicy hot dog with mayo and ketchup and jalapenos on it. Oh, that's the life. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go back, get a shower, get a hotel, and then regroup and hunt this evening. He's way bigger than we thought he was. He's pretty. <laughs> about what we thought he is. He's deep. He's big for it. He's like a little bit. Well, we were heading 
up to where we've seen that buck we call swirls or swirly we can't decide um, and we were just heading up there and there's a little spot where you can glass right here and if we didn't find him we were going to go up onto this glassing knob and glass the rest of the morning and you can actually see the glassing knob from here and he is standing feeding on our glassing knob right now with a whole group of bucks so in the past we've seen him work down the timber so we're going to take advantage of this wind and we're going to go get set up in the pines and anticipate him feeding down the meadow um, back to bedding and hopefully get in between him and his bed and get him shot so you think it'll work it might we kind of know what he does wind's good for a morning wind yep could work that's a quick update well we came up to where the bucks were and we had some we had some people blow past us earlier we we're hoping they would be at the end of the road but they're actually parked right they're either chasing them or they didn't even see them and they're hiking up to the glassing point. But we're just going to ease up through this timber and see if they, either way, they probably bumped the bucks. So we're hoping they bumped them down this way. But we're going to ease up here and just see what happens. forward and high. Looks like I misranged. I held 10 yards further than what he actually was. He was downhill. Happened fast. It was downhill. Happened way fast. Not feeling the greatest. Looks like a high shoulder hit, so he's 99% gonna live. But we're tracking him just in case. We've got a little bit of blood. We're just following his track right there. The arrow probably went in six inches. The arrow went in about six inches. Downhill. Top of his shoulder. Sucks, but it's part of bow hunting, so. So we just got done gritting this morning. We've been looking more for that buck that I shot. Um, no luck, no blood, nothing. 99.9% .9 sure he's alive and well. Um, the blood just dried up on us and we've been looking all day yesterday and now half the day today. So Nicole's muzzleloader hunt actually started today and we skipped opening morning too do the right thing and come and try to find this buck just in case he was dead even though we thought he's most likely still alive but either way it's time to switch gears we're gonna go hunt muzzleloader and then we're gonna come back here and try to find him dead or alive a little bit more and yeah switching units switching weapons i'm excited so it's gonna be a lot of fun as always, thanks for watching. Like this video, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it. And see you on the next one.